The president's not going to admit error. He never does. Uh, he does in the abstract, but he'll never admit he actually makes a human error on anything. So he won't on this, but he'll, he knows what's going to happen, which is the Congress will rebel on this and it will pull the funding, get him off the hook, and the issue will end up behind him, even though he doesn't do it himself. But what is remarkable is he gives a State of the Union address a month after an attack that could have been utterly catastrophic. Uh, and after a year, and we've had three attacks, the, Ar the Arkansas murder, the Fort Hood massacre, and, and then, of course, the attack on the airliner. And he has almost practically nothing in the State of the Union on terrorism. In fact, because his uh, two decisions, the KSM trial in Manhattan and the granting of Miranda rights to the guy who tried to blow up the airplane, are indefensible. But what he did do is he pretended that the only argument against him on these issues is that he's unpatriotic. He said, all of us love our country. Well, that's not at issue. We all love our country, but there are ways in which you can defend it intelligently, and there are ways of acting which are idiotic, as his administration did in the case of allowing the bomber uh, and the Christmas Day attack, Miranda rights, and as a result, we, we are receiving almost no information from someone who knows about active al-Qaeda cells in Yemen. So, I, you know, patriotism, it is said, is the last refuge of this scoundrel. But this scoundrel is, is seeking refuge in implying that his opponents are questioning his patriotism, and they are not. They are questioning his judgment. Down the line, does Congress pull funding on this? Absolutely. Looks like it. Yes, no KSM trial in New York, no closing of Gitmo. No closing of Gitmo. That'll be a follow-up.